I am invincible, the mad emperor screeches, as I approach my blade at the ready. You're not. I mean, look, I've already lopped off your hand. I gesture to the bloody limb on the floor. A simple setback. With this scepter, I shall be granted what I need, whether it be a new limb or your very dema- I swing my sword and cut off the hand holding the accursed artifact. Ah, you, you, you. His face has gone ashen now. Understandable, as he's been bleeding heavily since my first strike. One would think that he would do some get battle with his magic, but no. He seemed intent on monologuing. With a final shaking of his stump at me, he collapses, clearly dying, if not already dead. With that, my duty for this job is complete. Vanquish the evil emperor and retrieve his cursed scepter. Reaching down to pick up the scepter, I pry his still grasping hand free. I can't help but admire the thing. For all of his evil, it was truly well made. Something that had belonged in a museum of some kind. Alas, it is slated for disposal. Still, I can feel a tug at my subconscious, daring me to gaze into the large crystal atop the scepter. I merely give a single glance, but that is enough for it to seize me. Ah, Sir Hero, I welcome you, my new master. I am now in a pure white room with a figure that can only be described as pitch black. No features, nothing discernible, only a humanoid figure made of black smoke and night sky. New master, I repeat. The figure nods. Indeed, sir. You have slain my previous master, so my ownership naturally transfers over to you. I see. Well, that is good then. We don't need to worry while I transport you for destruction. These words send the figure into a sort of panic. Wait, master, I can grant your very desires. I am, after all, a wish demon. Tell me, master, what is it you desire? Eh, I'm okay, thanks. I shrug off his blatant attempts at temptation. Surely you jest, master. How about great riches? As he says this, a mountain of gold appears before me. More money than I have ever seen in my entire life. More than the dragon horde I witnessed when I was just a squire. However, my answer is obvious. No thanks. I wave the demon's offer away, and like a puff of smoke, the gold vanishes. May I ask why, master? The demon seems genuinely curious. Then again, great riches are often atop many wish lists for people. I am from an order of paladins. We are sworn to a life of poverty. Outside basic costs, I don't have much need for coin, let alone that much. The demon, for all its lack of features, clearly conveys how stunned it is. Rather an emotive fellow for a glorified 3D silhouette. Ah, yes. I see coin does not motivate you, then perhaps all the women you could ever want. As before, Many women, each of a beauty that would make the nymphs jealous, appeared. Or maybe men. With those added words, numerous men of equal beauty appear. Nah, no thanks. I'm asexual. Don't feel the need. Again, the demon is clearly stunned. Though I suppose I am a tough customer. Wealth? Lust? What next sin will he tell me with, I wonder? How about ultimate power? With these words, the images of beautiful people vanish, and in their place is an image of me slaying the Demon Lord. I will admit this tempted me for a moment, but once again, I shake my head. No thanks. I'm of the opinion of strength not gained by your own hand is not real strength. The Demon is clearly getting frustrated with me now. Wealth, lust, power, all have failed. How about great fame? All heroes wish to be remembered. No... My deeds, whether they live on, doesn't matter to me, only that I have done good. The demon is clearly becoming more and more agitated. How about an empire of your own? I just struck down the evil emperor on my own. Any ruler who rises up can still be cut down. It'd be the height of arrogance to think I was an exception. Then, ugh, how about an audience with your god? His offer actually gives me pause. You can do such a thing. My question is genuine. Indeed, master, you need only seal the deal. It holds out his hand. It is then I remember the rogue's old saying, a deal too good to be true almost always is. No thanks, I will meet him when I die. Can't have you monkeys point my wish now, can I? The demon clicks its tongue. It seems I hit the nail on the head. Paladin, what is it you actually want then? The demon gave up all pretense of temptation and decided to just outright ask. I have to admire the direct approach. Okay, I'll tell you what I shall make a wish. You can fulfill anything, right? 
The demon nods. Immensely pleased the conversation is going the way he likes. Okay, I wish the full destruction of every single demon and devil in existence on this plane, and any other. I also wish that all those with a level of evil in their hearts that would do them to damnation have their souls banned from entry to the demonic realms. The Sithware figure is frozen. Even without features, I can tell it is stunned by my wish. I can't do that! Their protest is amusing to me, and I can't help but chuckle. Thought you said you could do anything. I have limits to my power, Master. Eliminating all my brethren is beyond my power by a magnitude, let alone starving off all who may yet reform. Then this negotiation is over. I shall take my leave. Thank you. I start walking away towards what I can make out is the edge of the room. Wait! I will give you everything. Anything but that. You can be the greatest hero remembered throughout all time. Your story will inspire so many more heroes. The demon is clearly desperate now. As I have previously said, I care little if my deeds are remembered, let alone achieving such a goal with my own strength. I thank you for the offer, but I must go. This scepter won't purify itself now. With these large words, I punch through the white wall and exit the mindscape. That was fun. Hope we can do it never again, I say to the scepter, as I put it in my ceiling bag for the trip to the temple.